Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we got Legend Series, Marvel of the Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Volume 2, Daughter of Thanos, and that's said in multiple languages down here. Um, don't know why it just doesn't say Nebula. On this package, um, you can see it comes in that standard Marvel Legends style packaging. Uh, it's got the Guardians of the Galaxy logo on the top. We got a picture of Gamora looking really cool on the side. It's actually a really nice likeness of the actress. And Nebula on this side looking great as well. And as you can see on the back, you have Gamora and Nebula on the back. And of course, it's got to say Marvel's Nebula because Marvel needs to let you know it's theirs. Um, but you got a little bio here. And then you got the Build-A-Figure Mantis and all the others from the Wave, which I do need to get Gamora and X nilo I am not getting another Star-Lord. I don't need another Star-Lord. I don't give a shit about this Star-Lord. This is a horrible idea. That's just laziness. We don't need that one. Don't need that one. Because I got the good one in the back. So... Let's go ahead and get Nebula out of her prison. Nebula out of the package, looking great. Comes with the leg of Mantis, which is all blurry. Um, but this is sculpted really nicely, painted really nicely. It's got a lot of those metallic greens in it. Yeah, the leg of Mantis. Let's go ahead and Pop it right on. There it goes. So I have a one legged mantis so far. We're getting there. We're getting there. And other accessories. She comes with an alternate arm. This arm is sort of warped a little bit, I guess, from the packaging, or it might, it might have, I guess it might be this way. I'm not too sure. If you've seen the film, unfortunately, I have yet to see it. Uh, so, I know I'm lame. I'm lame. Just been busy. Um, but yeah, if it's supposed to be sort of like that bent like that, just let me know. It might be, because the way this arm is, I don't know. But really cool little claw arm. A lot of details to it. Nice little wash to the silver to make all the sculpt work pop. And I was, actually, this might, yeah, it's a wash. I was going to say it might just be the plastic, but no. You couldn't get all these details to pop. Definitely looking awesome. Cool. And then she comes with a really awesome little pistol. Little focus. Look at that detail in that pistol. Even added that little gold striping of paint. Like little attentions to detail. Like that adds a lot. I mean, you have silver plastic, you add a wash, you add a little bit of the gold to it. Um, those gold striping to it. And it actually, it makes a whole, it makes a huge difference, honestly. it's This is a great pistol. But uh, I know you guys didn't just come to check out the video because you wanted to see me be all like, this pistol is amazing. Let's actually get into the figure. And I have to say that this figure looks amazing. Um, definitely one of the must-haves out of this uh, out of this set I mean look at the eyes and the sculpt and the eyes are just black Oops, hit the camera there Everything sculpted. Are these lines? Yeah, the little, uh, the actual lines, as you can see with the light hitting it, those are sculpted in. Love the metal part. Like, that's disgustingly awesome that it's sculpted in. I don't know if this line's supposed to be painted. Yep, they missed a line. Son of a. I have a have a unpainted line. Thanks, Hasbro. But other than that, this head sculpt's perfect. The, the 
detail that they captured. So good. Now let's go ahead and get down to, uh, as we should see, head motion. She'll look down this far. And she can look up that far. Look at the texturing, the paint. Man. Doesn't really have an ab crunch, has sort of like a old style, like G.I. Joe, sort of like torso bends. No ab crunch though, it's weird. But she still has a waist swivel as well. But look at the detail that they put into this figure. The texturing, the paint straps, You know, they miss out one line on my the head, but that's not that big of a deal, honestly, in my opinion. But shoulder pads look awesome. Even these are all hand sculpted in there too, or uh, sculpted, hand sculpted, whatever. So let's go ahead and put the arms out. That's as high as they go. With this figure, she's got some really long arms really lanky character she got the you know a weird like it's not your typical ball joint because it's sort of like a shape like a l because the shoulder piece so it's like a piece that goes in and down so you can sort of see it's not your typical it's like it's sort of the same a ball joint but not really because there's no maybe it is a ball joint it's just weird there's no swivel up here like you're stuck with this long piece of plastic and then it actually gets to a single bend right here which come on like i understand like i guess they're females they can't do double jointed elbows i don't know it's weird but oval pad needs to be on the elbow i would think yeah so um but besides that uh, rotate does rotate at the elbow, wrist bend, and rotation. And let's go ahead and take a look at this arm. It's got that uh, same like electronical cyborg cybernetic sculpting we saw from the little claw hand. Got that metallic purple elbow pad. Cool hands, and you can see the blue popping through. Cause, I mean, that's where the bend is. I got some extra, I don't know if that's extra wash or what's going on there, but it looks pretty cool. Cause it looks almost like a little bit of damage. Like it's like a burn mark or something. Still looking cool. Other arm. Awesome line work. The opal pad's the same. And this is actually a clothed up and it's like, it's textured too. Let's see if I can get you can see it. The texture on the sleeve, and then it gets into the metallic purple, and then the hands. Like, looking awesome. She does have her little waist belt. I don't even know what this is. It's sort of like double belted thingamajig. Sculpted, sits right. So that pearlescent metallic purple plastic and I love like the the black splotches all over looks really cool her legs do go out this far she has a thigh swivel they did give her double jointed knees some really long boots which allow it to bend up like so and bend down and she's got that swivel, but if you swivel it, look at that. This looks weird. Ugh. So, definitely, definitely really cool. She's got, like, a diaper booty. Leg kicks out really nice in the back. So, she's got those long legs. She could do a stomping. 
but I love like the extra they just put a lot of love into this character um, figure itself like little metallic silver paint for the buckles for the strapping and this is actually just sculpted into the actual leg so I love that extra sense of you know the, the attention to the detail to some of these figures is just amazing and this one is definitely one that doesn't uh, disappoint except for you know I miss that <laughs> that one stripe right there come on Hasbro it's supposed to look like that but instead uh, whatever let's go ahead and change that arm out that popped out really easy so she got her little claw arm yeah she can sit there and be like, well, one be blurry, but two, you know, be like, take my small hand, take it, take it. But uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a claw arm. Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, really cool. Didn't have a problem. Bends. Just doesn't do anything else. Just bends at the elbow. And it just pops off. It's got the little nubs. And then got like two trigger finger hands that the gun could go into. There we go. Holds it really, really nice. Let's try to see how well it looks in the other one. Holds it really nice in both hands, honestly. I think it, uh, yeah, both hands look good. I think I would have it with this one due to it being like the more cybernetic, you know, side. I don't know, but they it looks looks awesome. Sort of reminds me a little bit of like the robots from like iRobot. Um, except of course every, I mean I tell you, I mean how, every time I open one of these figures and I try to stand it for the camera while I'm recording, this, it, fuck it, it doesn't even, doesn't even want to stand. Because I pose horribly. I can't pose my figures, guys, while I'm on camera. I, I, off camera I can... You know, maybe I just need to play with them a little bit more. But either way, this is the Marvel Legends Nebula unboxing and review. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed. Add a like if you like what you saw. Subscribe if you want to see more. And comment. Comment. That's what the comments are down there for. Uh, tell me what you guys want to see. What, you know, something I should do differently. Um, yeah, just talk. Add some talk down there. That's what the comments are for. Um, but most importantly, I want you guys to have the bestest luck of uh, finding figures. And uh, good luck with that. Keep on collecting and have a wonderful day.